you can see storm debris piled up along practically every road in Georgetown County. Gathering it all up will be a big project. Big enough, the county's debris removal contractor needed to hire 20 local people at $10 an hour to monitor the process. Finding people who wanted those temporary jobs has taken longer than the county expected. It probably has something to do with the fact that, you know, it's long hours, um, it's all weather conditions, um, you know, just some of the criteria that go with it. Broach says most positions have now been filled, five jobs remain open. The county's debris pickup got off to a slow start this week, Broach says, not only because of the hiring delay, but the county also had bigger issues to deal with after the storm, like taking care of the people whose homes were without power. The county will do curbside pickup of storm debris if property owners will place yard waste along the roadside right-of-way. It should be loose, not in bags. In just a few days' time, the county has already collected 9,500 cubic yards of storm debris, and they're just getting started on a process that's certain to take weeks to complete. The timeline was somewhere around a month time period, and then at that point in time, we can kind of reevaluate and find out what are the areas that we need to focus. The debris will be put to good use, Davis says. It will end up as mulch that may be sold by the county or made available to county residents. In Georgetown County, Joel Allen, WPDE, News Channel 15.